It is finally time for me to become an esteemed gongo brewer myself. Or Roxy or Moonshine or whatever they call homebrew in your country. The alcoholic beverage, the people's choice, if I shall say so myself. Up there, a man called... Uh, I actually don't remember his name, but we're gonna go and see a man up there who chops wood. I was gonna go up today, but I'm a little late. This is where he, he cuts down trees, which he then gives to the gongo brewer, which is showing me around. And they take the corn you have here. This, as I'm sure if you've seen my other videos, this is what uh, gongo comes from. The sun just went down. But we're gonna go to his hut anyway and get some wood which I'm then gonna bring down the mountain, carry it on my head just like they do and uh, wake up at four o'clock tomorrow and I'm gonna brew gongo. When it comes to you, what does it look like? You, you get baskets of this? This is what you eat. Oh, I see. Oh, this, I see. This, this, they make a special meal out of this. Oh, I see. So, no, it's not for Roxy. You Roxy Is this a good one? Yes, that's a good one. Okay, so it's a, they make it Oh man, now we're talking. Okay, that not every building here has a stone tile roof, but most of the buildings are made from stone. So basically everything... Well, hey, do you guys know Anton the goat? Anton. Anton? Anyone? No. They're all Anton haters. Anyway, everything I had planned up here, I had big plans up here. I've gone south because the government has decided to build a road through town. And that means that every, you know, I was, I met a, an incredible woman. You're still going to meet her, but her old business, she's had to move because they're going to tear everything down. This beautiful, beautiful village. It's horrible. But uh, they're going to tear it down and, uh, and build a road that goes further up the mountains. Now, why exactly? I don't know, but I mean, it's obviously some kind of development project. I mean, if it brings prosperity and, and, and increased living standards to this village and this area, that's obviously good, but I've spoken to them and, and I said, well, well, how do you feel about it? Apparently they tried to fight the government on it, but the government won. So the road is going to be built and they're going to have to tear down a lot of houses, including where she had her Gongo Cafe. Um, but uh, okay, I'm still going to do my best to kind of show you what, what the economy up here, the people here are awesome. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're just going to have to improvise. I'm still going to brew gongo though. Uh, that was obviously part of my plan. Namaste. Great Namaste. So Namaste. So yes, they used to come this road, trekkers. This was the old path. I need to borrow some wood. This is all you cart later on fine sir. All you cart. you do. This is the man. Obviously, I'm late to the trekking scene in, uh, in Nepal, but man, just imagine being able to walk around and stay in villages like this. This is so amazing. Just a little late to trekking in Nepal. 20 years ago, this was what it was like, I'm guessing. Exactly. But, you know, people can still come this route if you want to enjoy, you know, like just if you want to take a bus, what's the point of coming to Nepal? Come they can route. come up here and have a look. Literally, come here. We'll show you the path up here because it's not on the tourism trail right now, but we'll show you the path to come up here later on. Wow. 
Would, would, would he like the path to come back here? Or is he happy now that tourists go down there by the river? If nobody's coming, it feels sad. Tell him I will try to tell people to come up here. I mean, like, you're to go and report home to her. I mean, who you like, sir? She likes it. Okay. I'm happy. I mean, who you like, sir? I'm happy. It'll be more business. I mean, there's nothing, nothing, no income, nothing here. Have you ever been to the Chinese 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 Sarki's wife, who's going to take us up there to uh, the hut where the federal wood reserves are stored. I've been up there before. I went up there. I wasn't filming though back in March, but I made a little video, tried to carry some stuff. Maybe I'll, I'll play that now. Oh, now there's the neck workout. And then you hold it. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Really? <laughs> All right. Thank you for the wood, guys. Sure, they're all laughing at me. I must be doing it wrong. <laughs> all right. Whoa. Man, that was heavy. Kole, you think you're so? He says he carries bigger than that. Wow, amazing. So bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay. I'm the wood thief. It looks like a landslide literally took an entire hut down with it. You can see the remnants of the, of the wall up there with the goat. And here's the, here's the, the ceiling. Whoa. <laughs> She's trying to protect me. <laughs> Oh my God. Hey, rupees. Hey, it's rupees. Mr. Rupees. How's it going? Namaste. <laughs> That's the son of the guy who gets the wood. After swimming in the waterfall over there, we saw this house up on a hill. And I thought, wow, look at that awesome place. What a cool place to live. So as we're walking back here, back to the village, we run into this guy and he says it's his house and his son is up there now. Um, and he said, yeah, go, go see my son. So, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> Incredible place. Now, there is some kind of electricity generation project going on here, which has obviously ruined a lot of the aesthetics. But uh, having electricity is obviously good for the village. Namaste. It's obviously good for the village. So uh, they're happy about it.
if you don't want to see the village, just come in up here to see the waterfall. It's worth it. And also remember, like the oldest guy in the village said, Namaste. He wants you to go there and visit. Because they feel sad when there's nobody coming. They're laughing a bit at Sunil because he's always, oh my god, these plants, they're gonna kill me. <laughs> she just turned around and like... <laughs> Sunil, all of these plants are deadly killer plants. Let them go first. Let them go first. You go and then I'll find a way. All you send there, all you send. Says you're very strong. You're strong. I'm just following you. That's where we started the video, up there. Let's go. I'm sleeping. There's no rock there. So here, if you're scared here, okay, it's slippery, right? You need momentum, speed, like that. If you're slow, that's when you slip. I got it. Are you gonna help him? Let her help you. You got it. Go, 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 I'm in the middle. Keep going. in the middle. <laughs> We're not halfway soon here. We're not even one tenth there. It's another hour of this. No, no, it's another hour. Yeah, at least, maybe two. I love freaking him out. <laughs> Woo, she's good. See how she grabbed onto the grass? You take a fistful and then you go. Grab the grass. Big fist. So like this. See like this, super slippery with the moss. Just gotta watch your step, inch a little closer. I got it, I got it. Like this. Be careful there. Plan your next step. Plan your next step. Plan my next step. Yeah. Be two steps ahead. Map out what you're gonna do. How? By thinking where you're gonna plant one foot and then the second and the third. See, this is always slippery. Look at the path ahead. Nice. <laughs> how I'm gonna carry wood down here? God knows how. Maybe I'll just paint like two. <laughs> You okay? Yeah. Nice little walk. 
A walk in the park. Good job, Sunil. Good job. How far is more, man? A couple of kilometers. Maybe one hour, right? Yeah. <laughs> wow, you're a great pathfinder. <laughs> Man, this is slippery, I'll tell you. I'll tell you that. Getting up there. Almost there. Hey Rupees, oh you have a puppy, namaste, <laughs> how are you, okay, <laughs> hey look at the puppy, what's your name, hey, what's your name, hey, what a beautiful beautiful puppy, What's his name? Does he have a name? Wait for Sunil. Check it out. Downhill go go. Dog have a name? What is your name? What is your name? Kali. Kali. His name is Kali. Ooh. Kali dog. Geraldo approve over that. Maybe bust out the Kali necklace for the Kali doggo. Oh. Man. I'm gonna have to put it down soon or else I'm gonna be so attached like with downhill doggo. So beautiful. So beautiful. You think he will take me, my weight? Yeah. Too big, huh? Yeah, I'm full down, yeah? Oh, okay. I think they just called me fat. It is a smaller piece left for you, he says. A smaller piece of what? The woods, woods. Ah, great, great. So he yeah. wants you to go in and check it out. Great. This, there's a stick. Could you hold this for a second? I'll take the shortcut. With Kali Dogo. Kali Dogo, do you want to come and look at the Federal Wood Reserves with Geraldo? Oh, we need some light. Let's see, let's see. Do we have any? Let's come in. Okay. Let's put the doggo down. Here, doggo. Like this, huh? We can fire up Gongo with that. Oh shoot, he, he, not, he didn't do his job today. Oh really? Is it going tomorrow? Oh, it's slippery so he's just scared to go up there. Oh I see, I see. It's very slippery so he's scared to go up there. Does he have any electricity up here? Electricity, but it's not here. Does he? How many people stay here? What is another boss? No, I mean, one, one, no. Huh? One, no boss. Yeah, five people. Five people in this house. Yeah. There's no electricity. This is it. Okay. Oh, that's the electricity. So one person sleeps here. Where do the other people sleep? Shopping. Husband, wife, three kids over there. On the same bed. 
When it rains there, does the rain stay out from this roof? No. Is there anything she needs carried down that I can bring other than wood? We'll, we'll buy some corn from you. This is you. You can't pay. We would like to pay for some corn. Okay. Okay. Whatever he wants. Sell it. How did she get up there? Tomato, tomato. Ah, tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. Nice. Tomato. That's the So she says she went that way. Look All right. Tomato. See, there's a path over there. Okay, let's follow her. See how they pick the corn. Oh, again. Dogo, we are going on a cornfield adventure. Is she sleeping? What is it with dogs and sleeping on my titties? Ah, there we go. Oh, wow, that was brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We're going to have corn tonight then and brew gongo with it tomorrow. And then we're going to get some federal there's some federal wood reserves down in town obviously I just wanted to use my own firewood because it would be cool to kind of be responsible for every ingredient so she is her oh you with that her um, nieces um, barley and then, corn. And then uh, she brought she brought uh, some Roxy reserves <laughs> yeah so it's a gift, gift nice gift her, her, so, so that's how it works up here. Yeah. So she brings Roxy up here. They, they bring wood down for firing, yeah. burning yeah. Roxy. <laughs> Let's ask. <laughs> I think that. My goodness, I'm sweating. <laughs> <It's just laughs> nice. We're keeping that in. <laughs> uh, what? Is it? Of course, yeah. Okay, exchange. Ah, you traded. Is this? <laughs> so this is the way to get out. Well, yeah, we did that last time. It was brutal. It's going to be brutal. Yeah, because it's slippery. Because, no, she says, not only slippery, there is this... Uh, uh, plants attacking. <laughs> there will be a plant which is gonna attack you. <laughs> there is no attack plants in a no, mountain. No, it's just so like no. you know, like a, I, I don't know how to say it in English. You'll see those plants. Which I'll is, wait for the plant attack. You just tell me when this. it happens, okay? Look at these. That those things. When the plants attack, just tell me. No, I'll not, be walking with Dogo. Not literally attacking. David, here, David, here's your Dogo. Thank you for lending your Dogo. Beautiful. <laughs> We following you? Do you know the path? Or is this the better path? Goodbye. Goodbye, Togo. Nice to meet you. Kali. Kali, Togo. <laughs> okay, I'm responsible for the federal corn reserves. Okay, she looks skeptical, like I'm going to lose them. I'm not, though. A, pro a proper stick. Without the carving. Whoa, you just made one right there. Put a door, 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 put Oh, yes, yeah, look at that. This is, look at this. Yeah, it's quite normal when you walk through a cornfield. Yeah, those are what I'm trying to t tell you. Sunil, the last time we went down here, David said, you die. So this is the way down? This looks like a very, very... I know. 
Okay. So Neil, you go first. I'm not sure I can. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Daniwat. 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 Nice to meet you. Good luck. Will, will he survive? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. They say you will survive, so Neil, go on. <laughs> bye, bye, guys. <laughs> Very steep. Well, so far, so good. You're alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you remember yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. See you next time. Bye bye. Uh, yeah, this is kind of brutal going down because it's muddy. Wow, look at her racing ahead. <laughs> I think they're laughing at his, at his fairy tales about deadly plants attacking. <laughs> It'll scratch you, not attack you. So you don't rate uh, a scratch as an attack? This is Sunil's attack plant? So in the future, these ones, these are the ones... Not very brutal. <laughs> it's like Sunil has never seen a plant latch onto your skin before. So she's saying this one also scratches you. She's saying no, or you're saying? She says once it grows, it attacks you. Not attack, it attacks you. In what way? You. See, English is my second We'd like language. to hear more, Sunil. English is my second language. <laughs> I hope the audience understand. We're just joking. We're barely making this. Ah, Sunil, it's attacking! How the hell? <laughs> Okay, she's showing another one. Wow, this see, is the she's third plant he claims attacks. Let's see. She's telling you. <laughs> but she's silent. All I hear is you talking about plant attacking. No, she's saying, she just picked it up and showed it to you. Why is she holding it if it's a deadly attack plant? I didn't see. No, not attacks. It's, I didn't it scratches oh, yeah? if it gets you. Well, that's what plants and trees do. Yeah, it's all it's normal. <laughs> if I wear jeans, I can avoid those cracks. Huh? <laughs> He's still trying to justify the jeans four days in. A soybean. Does it attack? Yeah, no attack. <laughs> this one, look at this. Look at this. How bad okay, watch it's this. basically trying to kill you, Sunil. No, watch this, man. <laughs> Freaking <laughs> European, man. It's just stressful to deal with you. Look at this. Are you getting upset? Because I, I don't. Absolutely, I'm upset, man. These things. Cara. And you think this is not? <laughs> this is good. It's a normal plant. Of course, it's a normal plant for you. I'm not. <laughs> I do. <laughs> he gets very upset, <laughs> and I don't take the plant seriously. <laughs> I'm so freaking upset. I don't want to go these things, man. <laughs> We're just joking and having fun, Sunil. <laughs> So, a lot of this land is actually still hers. She lost a lot of land in a landslide two months ago during the peak of the rainy season. Now it's towards the tail end of it. But she still has some land down there which is growing barley. And down there is, is also where uh, we'll make the gongo uh, early, early in the morning. She used to have a cafe down here, but the government of Nepal are gonna make, they started to make a road which is gonna boom bulldoze straight through those authentic stone huts uh, and kind of raise most of this town to the ground. I don't I exactly know what the plan is. She doesn't even know, but that's what's going to happen. So that's now our plan was to stay in her. She had, used to have a guest house there and, and also a little uh, bati, they call it, like a gongo bar, brewery, where all the, the, um, the, the, uh, the porters you see walking with the donkeys and so on. They, they go there and drink gongo for a pit stop uh, on their way further up the mountain. That's now gone. And now she has a, a little, like she just put, put a little hut together over there. I don't even think it's hers. I think she's renting it and kind of trying to figure out how she's gonna, gonna yeah, gonna continue. But uh, we're gonna do a little walk through town and I'm also gonna show you where we're, we're staying now, which is on the other side. And we are down. Parts of town is still super authentic. Do you know who lives here? Yeah, Kobosa. Kidama. Yeah, Kobosa. Ubiralo. 
Do you know the people who live in this house? Namaste, sir. Namaste. 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 <laughs> Oh, see, see, we saw her there. Ah, I see. Can we have see a look at your chair. house? Sit down. Okay. Oh, you English. <laughs> no English. Please. <laughs> you have the best yeah. stone roof in the entire village. Oh, you, I, you, I would... You, 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 I would like to hear who made the roof. You saw You saw it. You saw Who builds these houses? No, no, no. You saw it. You saw it. You saw it. You saw it. You you build you it yourself. Nine. That's Norwegian. It's, it's grandparents. Grandparents, huh? She said, Please go inside, she says. Okay, okay. Be careful, okay? It's really <laughs> This is a proper. <laughs> So, so uh, she sleeps here, her husband sleeps here, this is her husband and uh, her room. And she has an upstairs, it's a two, dangerous. <laughs> it's a two story home. There's one more at the bottom. Oh, you have a basement as well? Yeah. Wow, what an amazing home. <laughs> wow! How long has she been here? four kids. Have they left for, for Kathmandu? This is, so he's in 12 and CCA. Some other maths, so she has four kids. Kids. So what is her business here? Is she is she is this for the for the Roxy or for eating? Oh, so this is for food. And and make it and then, uh, poison poison ivy. Yeah. Eat and poison, poison ivy. Yeah, poison ivy. Eat the, so these are the her, her business. See, it's uh, the poison ivy. Make a dado out of this food. Poison ivy. Poison ivy. Poison ivy. That green soup kind of I had today, yeah? Yes. And what is it for? Is it a delicacy or just like a taste? I know. Oh. 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 Carol investigates. View from the window. I think she has the best house in the village. You go, you so Thank you so much. Did you like her? Yes, house? yes. yes. Very what would you like to eat? Any cold drinks? Anything? No, we're going. We have to hurry because she's waiting for. Yeah. But if she wants to come to, to that for some Roxy today, that would be fun. At her place? No, but she doesn't. She, she doesn't want to If you want, I can make my own. Here she makes her own too. You make your own Roxy? I made her own too. My own Do you make the best? Do you make... Yes. Oh wow, we're gonna have to try then. This way, I'm here try When? Does she have it now? Do you 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 have it so, yes, she has a little bit for now. For Try a little bit, One yeah? <laughs> let's go, let's go. This is why Mati Bansan is in the Mati Bansa Kata. Okay, let's go. Outside, more light. What a body bogot, how can I be sorry? What is that? <laughs> the audience just took a loop. What's <laughs> up, audience? Yeah, I'm sorry. Let's try a little, little Roxy. I want to try a little bit of Roxy. 
And then we will leave. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. We, um, what's her name again? Chin. Chita. Chita. So Chita used to have a Roxy pub right here, and my plan was to go and, you know, promote her Roxy pub because she didn't have any customers. And then that was her rooms for the tourists. Yeah, for tourists. We were going to stay up here. We were going to brew Roxy and kind of show tourists. Uh, Namaste. Namaste. Yeah. <laughs> we were going to show tourists who, who would just rush through here and not even try her gongo or tea um, because they used to think this was just uh, a normal home. It is her home, but it's also a place where you can try uh, gongo or Roxy. Um, so we actually had a custom made sign for her. A local moonshine pub. Wow, that's awesome. Good job. All right. Wow, he turned. Here, here's my, uh, where's my scribbles? Okay. <laughs> this was my attempt. And then Sunil, he goes on the, on the. Canva. And he made that. Okay, good job. This is going right. to work. Let's do it. Hey, are you drinking? What's this? Are you drinking? <laughs> so Neil, are you drinking Carlsberg? A little bit with a lot of ice. It's very hot outside. I thought you were a man of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And on a Sunday, the Lord's Day? No. What has gotten into you? Man. <laughs> Shameful. Shameful. Hey, Harold, it's coming along. It's, on the, it's coming along really good. Ready. <laughs> but you know, she had one of the, the few authentic places in town. These new hotels, they don't, they don't look like this place looked inside at all. But now with this road coming through here, she has just decided to shut up um, uh, shop okay, and, and move. Gonna be, it's gonna go through this thing. Like just look at that, for just from this. Look at that house up there, for example. It just has so much character. So all this is going away. There is the corn. Just finished cooking. Well, let's try then. I've never eaten corn. I've actually ferried down from the mountain myself. Hi. Very nice. I like it. Corn, potatoes, chow mein, beans. Not sure what that is. Vegetables. Oh wow, nice. Potatoes and chow mein, all in one. Nice. Look at this absolute power meal. Okay, bon appetit. I don't like to film me eating, but uh, as you guys can see, this is a quality meal. Ooh, I'm glad we survived. That was my first near-death experience. A massive thunderstorm <laughs> raged all night. I've never seen or heard thunder like this. And ooh, no sleep whatsoever, so sunglasses are staying on. It sounded like the mountain was coming crumbling down. Uh, were you as scared now as during the hike? I didn't sleep. It was, I've never heard thunder like this. It sounded like the mountain was coming down. And in some parts, it probably did, to be honest. But anyway, we need to catch up here. Activate Gabriel High Roller Traveler mode. Yeah, we Sita, wait up. <laughs> because the morning, the morning of Gongo or Roxy is upon us. But you know what? Up here, because these people are Gurung, they actually don't call it Roxy. They call it Sita. What do you call Roxy? Roxy, like you want to go to Chi. 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 
So we are about to brew tea. Start cutting those. No, 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 She's not impressed. <laughs> I'm worried. <Yes. laughs> no impressed. He's just starting her own. Oh, there we go. Geraldo's get, getting the technique ready. Woo. Woo. So good. Yes, those. That's the right size. Hey, that's what she said. My ex-girlfriend. <laughs> So when they grind the uh, corn? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it smells exotic to say the least. You want it to be full? Yeah? Oh man. This is grinded. the corn kind of grinded together. Grinded and then cooked it very heavy for a long time. And then drink water. And then what else do we have? Uh, now that you put water, just let him care. Ulay, ulay, I'm I'm <laughs> the fire is gone, you didn't do a good job. Oh, disaster! Can you try fire again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Hold on, I'll fix it. Man, I'm not the natural gongo brewer I thought I was. <laughs> well, there's not much to work with here. Okay, is there lighter or something? What must I get now? Good morning. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You just brought a fashionable handbag with a rabbit inside. Two rabbits. What's so here? <laughs> Where do you get the rabbit? Oh, it's hers. It's yeah, hers. It came from the upper one village. Ah, you lent him your rabbit. Yeah? Are they gonna jump away if I open? This is his wake. Well, this is one intricate knot. Wow, look at that. Ah, oh, there's so many. Come here, look. <laughs> Get a beautiful one. So you grab it in the ear. Okay, I'll, I'll just copy her. Oh, she's gonna, she's bringing a re ah. reinforcement. <laughs> oh, be careful with the rabbit. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus. Yeah. All right. Here. Yeah. Grab it and put it inside. Hey, rabbit. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's your name? <laughs> no time to. Oh, the big ones. I'm scared they're gonna like jump away and I lose her rabbits. Uh, I'll let her do the big ones. Well, look how happy he is in a new home. What should we name him, Sonil? I gotta ask my daughter. <laughs> well, we don't have time for that. I name you Louis Vuitton Basket Rabbit. Because you came in a homemade Louis Vuitton bag. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow, that's how you do it. I'll do the little one. No, I don't want to grab you by the ears. Hey, go to mama. There were four of them, the four kids. Two ran away. 
And we see it's seven, eight of them total. Some died, some sold, but two ran away. So she sells the rabbits? Yeah, the mother and father creates more. Yes. Well, I assume they mate like rabbits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rabbits are kind of known for mating <laughs> at a rapid rate. Oh, I remember this. This is going to be difficult. Oh, shoot, man. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I remember this. I have no idea why. <laughs> Just like in Africa, they insist on doing, you know, firing stuff under the roof, uh, under a ceiling. I'll blend it for you. I'll give it a go. Really good, sir. Would be a lot easier without the fire. <laughs> oh, man. It still, come here, it still kind of looks like this. Not very appetizing. Take that out if it's chunky. Well, the point is to kind of blend it in with the water, right? Yeah. The if it's chunky, take it out, she says. I'll sh I'll throw it in that one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what she's doing. Kill you. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's good. Ah. He's still working on his muscle. Who would have thought Gongo was this labor intensive? Oh, but the, the smoke is even worse, man. Right? ready. Then pick it up, put it on top of the pan. This one? Yep. Loser, loser. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Nice. Means good job. All right. Ah, goodness, man. I, 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 it's my own supposed to be better. Are we filling it up? What, what, what is the function of these ones? You kill, you Oh, so okay, she's trying to protect her. Yeah, but it's a little bit. It's a little bit. going to protect the air. It couldn't go. So nothing escapes. Yeah. I think we missed one thing. She put that pot, the way it collects, inside. Okay, watch this thing. Okay. The pot is down there, but it has a hole. This thing, this thing, this bucket has a hole. So, so the steam comes up and then collects in that one. And that's where the, the Roxy will be. Yeah. So it, collects, so it, it, goes, it steams from here, there's a hole here, so she wants to airtight this, goes through there and collects on that pot. Interesting. So the water is to, she has to keep constantly change this water. Yeah, yeah. So from these two big barrels, it will be the tiny one in the middle that has the Roxy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the tiny one, it'll collect. So she's going to cover this one so it doesn't evaporate outside that distance. And I think she has to constantly change the water so that it cools it down, you know, and then collects in the pot. Not sure. We have seen so many of these coming up this valley. Everyone makes Roxy, or was it uh, cheetah? They called it. No, what did they call it, Sonil? Chi. Chi. Okay. Chi. We've seen so many people brew this up here in this valley. Uh, chi, chi. Chi, 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 chi. Chi, chi. Very, very popular drink. In fact, I would venture as far as to say that this is Nepal's national drink.
So now we do this six times. How? How long does that take her to, to perform this six times? It just started, so it's going. The first one takes a longer time to boil, and then the second and third starts happening faster. What? Eh, nikal dah dua jam ni sih. In two hours, it will be out. Two hours. And then when will it be? Uh, when will it be drinkable? So as soon as it's, you take it out. And then you can even drink warm water. We, we can drink this tonight. Warm. Or even you can drink warm as, as, as soon as you try the fresh one. I think that's what you should do. Let's try the fresh one. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, let's do that. All right. Fresh congo for breakfast before we hike up into the mountains. Huh. What an operation. Sita, you ready? I don't know what he's up to. Let's let's go. The gongo cannot wait. <laughs> so it's now three hours later. I think we're walking past another domestic dispute here. It's been it's now three hours later. She's changed. Uh, you changed the water many times, yeah. So now it's apparently ready to drink, and uh, that's ex exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change actually this is my absolute disinfectant vodka I'm gonna pour this out and then I'm gonna fill it up with uh, with fresh gongo and then I'm gonna hike up on one of those mountain tops and name another peak bye bye absolute hello gongo <laughs> so smoky. Man, it's hard to breathe because of all the smoke. Oh, here we go, away with those bands. Now where is it? In here? <coughs> so much smoke in there. <laughs> I'm just like, where's where's the gongo? <laughs> okay, my eyes. <laughs> where's the gongo? <laughs> oh, I was gonna put out the fire. It is Gongo o'clock. Wow. Maybe this is where it's at. Ooh, there we go. That fresh Gongo smell in that little. Ah, oh, there we go, yeah. Hold on. Very nice. Yeah, good one. Let's try it then. Put that. Yes, man. Yeah. I want something in here. Yeah. Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful. Is it very hot? It's very hot. Ooh. Strong one. How, how is it? Is it, it smells like the same we had yesterday. Yeah. Oh, this is how. Hot, hot, hot. It's hot. Is it good? I haven't tasted yet. Okay. 
Mm, man, the smell is so strong. Oh, it's a strong one. Yes, it's good. What what is she saying? Mi ti to? Mi to to means is it tasty? Yes, mi to to. Mi to. Tasty. <laughs> In your village, take me to uh, uh, Norway. I'll make it there for them. Ah, oh, you're gonna bring moonshine in Norway? Norway, yeah. I regret to inform you that every village in Norway they already brew moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> it's very popular. <laughs> Tell her, thank you very much, and I'm gonna bring this up on a mountain. And I'm gonna name the mountain top after her. Don't know how this all turned out because it's so dark in there and it's hard to kind of get her to slow down and kind of explain but this is how gongo is made and uh, I just had a little sip but it was too hot to really get a, a mouthful in there so we're gonna we're gonna um, skull this one when we're up not on that mountain but the mountain peak will be something uh, something like that it's really tall actually it will be more more like that one up there so uh, wish me luck this was awesome fist bump Thank you so much. I'm gonna go and enjoy this on the mountain, <laughs> and then I will, I will uh, I'll let you guys know properly uh, the quality of this once I've had the entire bottle. Oh, you you are you learn Milan Aleli? tourist wanna because in all honesty we had this idea about promoting her ancient pub here she had this great building but like I said earlier in the video they're gonna tear it down there's nothing here really that that you know that I can can recommend but if you want to stop by here and help her out if you want to go to the to the village if if people want to go to the village they can come and and, and say hello yes I'm to, just to show you her location Jagat is literally 300 meters up there, up that hill, and that's where the Manaslu hike really starts. So now she's uh, she's here in this pink guest house. So the house she has, which is gonna go because of the road, but she has a little bit of land on the back. As she was explaining that she might use that land to use the same old stones she has to build it up so she can have those old authentic style. But next year we might see that part on uh, in uh, next to the road you know so we will might be able to see it's because she's so encouraged by you telling her that you like authentic nepalese style gurung style houses so she's actually more encouraged to make that kind of house it would be fantastic it's right in the village and she can give that tour right behind her house the tour starts yeah and then guess what she can just take him around and show the smaller the falls and the other side which is right up there this is where you're coming coming from when you start the Manaslu hike so uh, obviously there's tons of deserving individuals up here and, and pretty much everyone uh, needs help but um, for, for, out of all the people we've met um, she she uh, yeah she's really worthy and and uh, if you are here please stop by and and uh, make a little purchase in her shop or if you want to see the village um, she would really appreciate it and, and love to show you guys around